Okay, so open up your virtual dub software. Um, assuming that you've got it already loaded, I'll put the links to where you can download virtual dub and also the DShaker software. They're both free. Um, the DShaker software in particular is the best DShaker software I've come across. Um, even the sort of more expensive paid versions don't seem to do it quite as well as, as this one in virtual dub. Virtual dub actually only uses um, AVI files easily, although you can convert MP4s and uh, other, other files into a format that virtual dub can use. So the Mobius and the GoPro cameras um, natively record in MP4, um, but you can use other software, and I'll put that at the bottom of this video, um, to convert them into an AVI file, which virtual dub can use. So anyway, you've got the video open in your virtual dub software. Um, you want to go to video and filters, and come up with this dialog box. You want to go to add, and assuming that you've got your DShaker software installed okay, it should be in the list here. So I'm going to DShaker and press OK. And you come up with the settings boxes. Now DShaker works by doing two passes of the video. And pass one is a much, much slower than pass two. So the settings that I've changed on the um, default settings is first of all, the camera has a rolling shutter. It's uh, both Mobius cameras and GoPro cameras have CMOS um, um, settings inside them and so you need to check that box and you also want to change that percentage. If you're using GoPro it's 83%, if it's Mobius it's 95% I think, but it, it all says it in the DShaker um, software that you can download. Uh, everything else is left the same here. On this side I changed my scale to full gives it a little bit more of a precise run through. It does do it slower, but it will do it um, to a better degree. And I leave everything else the same. So I press OK and OK on that. And then I come down to these two buttons down here. Now, the first button here will play this screen, which is the unedited um, screen. And the second one here will play the edited version. So we're just going to press that one. And now it's playing the video. Um, it looks like it's in slow motion, but as I say, it's doing a full analysis or full um, uh, scan on it. And in doing so, it will just take a lot longer time. And what it's doing is it's picking up every single block of pixels that is um, detecting a shake. Now, it's not too shaky at this stage, but you'll notice that if you have got really shaky um, video, then these little dots will turn into arrows, and it will just give you an indication of what the software is doing. So it's going to take a little bit of time. It gives you all the information down here as to what it's detecting, all the blocks that it's, um, what it's doing to it, whether it's rotating it, zooming in, zooming out, all the rest of it, um, in order to smooth the image. So fast forward a little bit. The whole process on this little clip is no more than a couple of minutes. And here we are coming to the end of the video. And when it's done, it will, well, it won't be too exciting. We'll just stop. And here we go now. Right. So that's pass one done. You then want to go to your video filters again, double click on your D shaker software again. And this time you want to go on to pass two. Now this is where it does a final um, analysis of it all and actually de-shakes the, the, the video. So the only bits which I change in here is I go to edge compensation um, and I go to, usually I go to fix zoom and no borders. It depends on what type of video you're shooting and it might be worth experimenting with the different ones here but essentially you want to choose one of these rather than leave it on none or adaptive zoom average because you'll get little black borders appearing on the side of the video and it just doesn't look as good. So I go to um, fixed zoom, no borders, and everything else I leave, although you can change these options, um, and the DShaker software is a really good guide as to what to do if you want to change any of these settings. So I just press OK on that, and OK, and very quickly it will do it. Blink and you miss it, but anyway, it's run its uh, DShaker bit. And now I go to save, and um, I've actually saved it once before, but anyway, you can name it whatever you want, and I've just named it after DShake. And then this is the following result. Okay, we've DShake the video, 
and now we're just running it exactly the same clip before and as you can see it's running much much smoother and I think that's um, done it pretty well actually no more um, really sort of ugly shaking that was present in the first video and um, so that's what I do anyway I hope you've enjoyed the video and um, any better settings that you've come across let me know thank you